every property is going to need its own LLC. Now you can use a series LLC. And I, I, listen, I've had guys on my podcast say, you know, lawyers on my podcast who set these things up say, oh, we, don't, we do series LLC all over the place. I'm interviewing another guy on my podcast. He's a lawyer that's, that's worked with, with Tony Robbins and that big crowd. And he swears against series LLCs. I, I can't wait to talk to him because I don't agree with that. I like series LLCs. But here's, here's the reason, Mike. Every property you own is its own separate living, breathing organism, and you need protection from that organism. You need to put those corporate shields around that organism. You don't want to couple two of them together. Now, if you do a portfolio, you could put all three properties of a portfolio into one LLC, or you could put each one into its own LLC that is all owned by the master LLC. Or if we're doing a series, it will be, C, it will be the parent LLC. Okay, so you can set it up any way you want. And at that time, you don't have to make this decision now, and you do not make this decision when you're, when you're making the offer on the property. That can happen at a later date. Now, let me just talk about two things here. We, you know, we all talk about assigning, and when you, you know, we're talking about assigning the contract. So if we make an offer, we say under ABC, LLC, and or assigns, okay? That should never be a problem with a, a seller signing. If it is, the guy's a rookie. Because what happens is, from a legal standpoint, is you sign that, that contract under whatever entity you have now, or even in your own personal name, but the hour before you close on that deal, you are going to take that contract and assign it to your new entity, the LLC that's going to own the property. Now they own the contract and the bank is actually giving a loan to that entity. That's why you have to assign it over. Uh, you have to assign that one asset that you currently own, which is a prop purchase and sale contract and assign that over to the, the, um, uh, the buying entity. And, you know, that's why we always say assigns in the uh, contract, you know, not for wholesaling or anything like that. It's really because we don't even know the name of the entity that we're going to uh, buy it in. And I'll tell you, you know, uh, we don't want to go running out and every time we make an offer, we create a new entity. That would be crazy, crazy. 